Good morning, everyone. Happy hump day. Please activate your microphone. Say hello. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Looks like we have about 22 folks so far. Hopefully we'll get some more here. Um, I want to show you guys, first of all, if anyone is having or was having issues listening to the audio on Monday, you may download the audio if you want to on your computer. I want to give everyone an option to download the audio to today's TOEFL exam so that you can listen to the audio from your computer if you want to. I'm going to continue playing the audio over the internet just like I did on Monday, okay? But it's up to you. If you want to download the audio, go ahead and do so now. It's about 17 megs, so depending on your internet speed, it, uh, it may take a few minutes, okay? We're going to start here at about 8.15, in fact, exactly at 8.15, we're going to begin the quiz. So I would go ahead and open, if you haven't done so already, I would open the online TOEFL quiz. And you can open this up here from this post. If you click on this link, this should open up this, uh, this page, okay? And it may not open up, obviously, until 8.15, but it should. And if you're downloading your audio, if you're downloading your audio on your computer, it's very important that you begin right at 8.15. All right, so this online quiz will be open from 8.15 until 8.55. Okay, we'll have 40 minutes to complete today's audio practice, TOEFL practice. All right, so... Uh, make sure if you're going to download the audio to begin right at 8.15 and let it run so that you finish, all right? Because the quiz is going to close at 8.55. At the very bottom, remember to submit. So when you finish answering all the questions, remember to click the submit button to send your responses, right, to send and finalize and complete the quiz, okay? If you don't click submit before 8.55, then I won't receive your results, all right? So are there any questions? No sé si hay algunas preguntas sobre lo que vamos a hacer hoy. Sería un poco diferente para algunos de ustedes que tienen problemas con, con la internet. Entonces quiero ofrecer una opción a descargar el audio antes, pero todos vamos a entrar en este en este espacio, en este sí, en esta página a las 8:15 y va a cerrar a las 8:55. Entonces sí es muy importante que que terminen, que com comiencen el audio el 8:15 porque el audio dura como 37 38 minutos más o menos. Entonces sí es muy, muy importante que comienzan este, a las 8.15 exactamente. Y ya cuando terminen con la última pregunta, dar un clic aquí para mandar los resultados. No sé si hay algunas este, dudas lo que lo que vamos a hacer hoy con el TOEFL Practice. Igual voy a decir. I'm sorry, go uh, ahead. We're going to open that page, uh, which is in files, right? Um, open up. You're going to open up this page that shows on my screen. I, I hope that you guys can see my screen. Um, this link to this screen is in Microsoft Teams. I shared it here in Microsoft Teams. So if you click here, this will take you to this page in your browser. Now it may not open up right now because <clears throat> it's not going to open until 8.15. But I would go ahead and open up the browser and just have it ready. Right? So as soon as 8.15 starts, 
refresh your browser, and it should appear. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And I'm going to continue playing the audio. I'll play the audio here just like I did on Monday for um, for anyone who wants to listen to the audio over the Internet. Or if you want to download the audio, you can download it uh, beforehand. Hay otro punto que quiero mencionar. Hay dos preguntas. La segunda pregunta es un poco diferente de todo lo demás en el sentido de tienen... Dos opciones, sí o no. Y el segundo, tercer, quinto, quinto pregunta, eh, siguen igual. Es una, vas a escuchar al, al, pues, el audio y hay que contestar de una vez la, pre, la segunda pregunta, tercera pregunta, cuarta pregunta y quinta pregunta. ¿Ok? Hay un espacio de, de con, uh, with no sound, right? Entonces, nada más seguir con, con estas preguntas, right? They're going to ask, um, you know, what will the man include? Will the man include climate charts? Will the man include an interview? Will the man include journal? So, you guys just answer those questions right away. Don't wait for for anything. Just go and answer all of those. You're going to have more space. Va a tener un poco más espacio para contestar estas uh, cuatro preguntas. Ok. Y ya cuando siguen con el audio, ya vamos a seguir con uh, esta pregunta, why does the professor tell? Ok. So, ese es un tipo de pregunta. Uh, hay como cuatro preguntas que hay que contestar de una vez. Para ustedes que van conmigo, que, que están escuchando el audio, eh, pues igual voy a entrar y, y, y recordar, pues seguir con, contestando estas preguntas. Igual, la pregunta 27 es, es muy similar. Son como uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro preguntas igual que hay que contestar las tres preguntas de una vez. Sí, sin, sin un audio. Igual voy a entrar y mencionar, recordar qué tiene que hacer en este momento. Pero nada más para, para explicar, hay como dos preguntas de este tipo que va a escuchar un audio y hay que, hay que contestar como cuatro preguntas. ¿Ya? Antes de, del otro audio que, que sigue después. ¿Ok? So I'll explain for those of you who are, are here. If you're downloading the audio, just realize uh, that, right? Just realize that you're, go ahead and answer those questions. The second question and question number 27, okay? Question two, there are four questions you need to answer right away. And question 27, there are four questions that you should answer right away. Just continue answering one after the other. Alrighty. We'll get started here in about five minutes or so. And I really, I was uh, listening again to, I've been listening over the last few days, your stories. And your stories are, have been really, uh, really great stories. I've been really enjoying uh, the things that you've been talking about, the items that you chose, all kinds of different uh, items. Blankets, music, discs, really uh, fun stories. Seashells, very nice, uh, very nice stories. Thank you, teacher. If you guys are having any issues with technology, please let me know. Right. If you got, if you are concerned about the technology or you're concerned about the class, please let me know. Schedule time with me so that we can talk and figure out what we need to do. Okay. If there's something that's um, a challenge that you're struggling with that you can't get past, then we need to talk about it. Right. And the best way to do it is to meet outside of class, meet online, talk about it, and work it out. Okay. I don't want technology to be an issue, and I know 
Sometimes it's challenging because, well, there's a lot of things outside of our control. And I realize that both of us, we both have uh, things that are outside of our control, right? And I totally understand that, right? So I don't want you to stress about the technology. Um, I know it's sometimes it's a pain in the butt. I get it. I, I totally relate. But the main thing is that we continue working f forward, that we're communicating with each other and that you're telling me and uh, showing me things that, are, uh, that you're facing so that we can try to work through those. Okay, we got a few more minutes. Anybody have um, any questions or just want to talk, say, talk about your other classes or anybody know of a good joke? I'm horrible with jokes. If you guys know some good jokes in English. I don't even know jokes in Spanish, so. Ah. Guys, we got to learn some jokes, all right? We'll have to look for some jokes in English. We'll have to put that on our to-do list. Because I, I need to practice my own joke-telling skills because I'm horrible. I can never remember the punchline. So I got to figure it out, too. So we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. Also, this afternoon, well, not this afternoon, after this uh, practice, this TOEFL practice, I'm going to be asking you guys to create a list of one of your favorite songs. So be thinking about one of your favorite songs that you would like uh, to share with the group. We'll create a list and uh, we'll do something with some of your songs. That's going to be optional. If you don't want to share your favorite song, that's cool. But if you want to share your favorite song, I encourage you to do so. I want to see and hear some of the songs that you guys are into. I myself am into jazz music. I like jazz, American jazz. I, I have a question, just, just quickly question. Sure. Uh, do you think that you're able to understand every single uh, Spanish speaker, maybe uh, from every part, maybe from Cuba or from Argentina, from every part? I, I sometimes can't understand uh, every Spanish speaker inside my household. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. sometimes I have a hard time understanding my my son, who's 15, and I, he was hard to understand when he was younger. So uh, yeah, I it's a, still a struggle. I don't, you know, especially like the jokes, and uh, there's a lot of idiomatic expressions still that sometimes are difficult for me. But oh, here's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. When you guys are telling your stories, I know it sounds weird sometimes to be talking in another language. Maybe you're not as comfortable talking in English and you're like, okay, no sé si me entienden. I don't know if uh, what I'm saying is being understood. But, but, but I, it is. It's like I understand what you're saying. And, for example, Susana's story. Susana was talking about – this is funny. If you guys haven't heard her uh, story – it was it was funny because she was talking about seashells. I think it was Susan. And tell me if I'm wrong, Susan, if I'm if I made a mistake no, here. But she's no, going along telling a great story about and kind of serious, right? Because she's talking about these seashells, about trying to get into another country or something. And at the very end, she says something like, "Well, the moral of the story." She didn't. I don't know if you used that word, but the moral of the story is. Well, when you want something, you have to cry. You have to cry for it. And it was just the way she said it. But it's f all of your stories are really, has, they have a lot of meaning, and, and that's why I really enjoyed it. Even though you feel like, wow, this is weird to speak another language, right? Um, it's, and I'll, we'll talk more about that uh, a little bit later. But it's, it's different sometimes when you're speaking in English versus Someone else, you might be thinking, well, nobody's going to understand me or whatever. No, it, you're being understood, and and it's it has an impact on the listener, these stories that you bring when you talk uh, with emotion and, and feeling about something that's special to you, right? Okay, I'll stop talking now, guys. It's 8.15. I want to go ahead and begin uh, the...
Uh, I want to go ahead and begin the audio. And uh, again, if you're listening to the audio from your computer, go ahead and begin right now, please. And uh, we'll start right now. Hopefully everyone now can open up the quiz. You may have to refresh your browser. All right, I'm going to go ahead and begin the audio. All right, guys. Um, I think we'll go ahead and continue. What I'd like to do for the rest of today, I want to continue talking about the performance task that we started talking about yesterday. And if you are looking at my screen and you're looking at the top where it says six more, I'm going to select tasks. Now, you can also open up this these tasks. These are different activities that we're doing in class, right? So if you need to find out what we're doing, you want to know what we're doing for the day, what we did in the past, this is a good place to check. So we're working on the Unit 1 performance task. This is what we're going to work on for the rest of today. So just to review again, what to include in our performance task. All right, I have two checklists here, two lists of things to think about when creating a good presentation or if you want to create a great presentation. Let's take a look at what it means to have a good video presentation. So number one, the video should be 15 to 20 minutes long. Now this is going to depend on how many team members that you have. Each team member should speak at least five minutes. Okay, so each team, team member should speak at least five minutes. Now the idea here is to try to have three to four members in our team. We'll talk about that a little bit more here in a minute. All right, so make sure that your video is at least 15 to 20 minutes long. There should be equal participation in the preparation of the video. There should be equal participation in the preparation. That is everything that it takes to prepare for the video. Everyone should participate equally. Everyone should participate equally in the creation of the video, that is actually publishing the video. All right, so throughout the process, there should be equal participation. The video should include a title and a slogan. Now, you might decide on a title and a slogan at the very end, maybe once you finish the project, right, or you finish preparing for it. Or maybe you decide early on you have a good title and a slogan uh, as you prepare. The presentation should have a clear target audience. So the key term here is target. So try to choose and think about the target audience. And you may mention specifically the target audience in your video. Right? You probably will at some point. You'll mention who's going to benefit the most for, uh, for listening to your audio or video, I should say, listening to and watching your video. Now, it's going to be easy to say, well, all teachers or everybody in Aguas Calientes or all students, but I want you to try to focus on a target audience, a specific group of individuals who are going to benefit the most from watching your video. The video should have good visuals that complement and do not distract the spoken word. So good visuals. We were, This is a video, so we're going to use good visuals to complement what we're saying. The video should have good audio where each speaker can be easily understood. So if you're using any background information, be background music, I should say, or background sounds, be careful and make sure that the audio 
is of good quality that everyone can be understood. Try to choose a quiet place at home if possible so that there's not a lot of background noise. The video should have an intro, a body, and an outro. This sounds familiar, right? When we're producing our podcasts, we also need to have an intro, a body, and an outro. The video should come from a recorded Microsoft Teams meeting. So it's basically going to come from your meeting that you set up in your channels and your groups in Microsoft Teams. It's going to be a recording. So you're, it's going to require some practice, not only preparation and what, who's going to say what, who's going to do what, but you'll need to rehearse. Just like if you're a musician, a dancer, you rehearse, you practice. You have to do it several times so that you get better each time, so that when you do it that final time, it's, it's the way you want it to be. You want a good performance. So it needs to be a recorded Microsoft Teams meeting. The video will be published either unlisted or public. So one of the decisions that you need to make as a team is to decide, do you want to publish your final video publicly so everyone, the whole world can see it, or unlisted where no one can see it unless they have the link. If it's public, every team member, each team member needs to agree. All right, all team members need to agree if it's public. Try to use good transitions from one idea to the next. Sentence connectors. In your writing class, you probably have talked about, or you certainly will talk about, connectors, sentence connectors, right? And so you'll want to also use good transitions to move from one idea to the next. Okay, good transitions. Finally, utilize the strengths of each member. So find the strengths. If there are some of you who are artistic, you'd use the strengths of your team members to produce the best, the best, uh, the best video that you can. All right, this is going to be a good list to follow to create a good video presentation. Now, some of you might be saying, well, okay, that's fine, but I want to have a great video presentation. So what would you have to do to create a great video presentation? Well, you'll have to do everything that I mentioned up above, plus a great video presentation is going to clearly express a problem and a solution. A problem and a solution. We talked a little bit yesterday about the problem, the COVID problem. All right, we all know that COVID is a problem. That's obvious. But COVID has caused all kinds of other small problems in our daily lives. And this is where I want you to think about your family and your friends, your experiences over the last three or four months. And what kind of problems have you seen? What kind of problems have you experienced? What kind of problems have you heard about? Right? Again, it could be family, it could be friends. Hopefully you can draw on some experiences that you've had <clears throat> to think about, okay, what kind of problem do we, our team, want to address? Your team should choose one problem. So this might require that you talk with your team members and share some stories about problems that you have experienced, either among your friends and or among family members. So then you decide as a team, okay, we can't talk about everything, can't talk about all of those problems out there. We're going to talk about one, 
one problem, but you need to discuss it and share each other's stories and decide, okay? But it should be a specific problem. A specific problem might be the problem of finding a job. Maybe COVID has created some problems finding work. Maybe it has caused pro- psychological problems in not being able to be with your friends and family the way that you were used to before COVID. Maybe there are some other problems that maybe others aren't aware of that you can discuss, right? How do you celebrate a birthday party now, right? That's a problem. If, if COVID is restricting the way we should interact, right? That's a problem. So think about a problem, a specific problem that's related to COVID, but that's not specifically COVID simply because it's too big. It's the, the topic of COVID as a problem is huge. It has all kinds of other problems. So a great presentation is going to have, have a clearly defined problem and solution. A great presentation might include role plays and satire. Look up satire. Think about a role play. A great presentation is going to have a role play. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be funny. And it's going to be light. It's not going to be too dark. It's not going to be gross. It's not going to be disgusting. We want it to be fun. Or even if it's a serious problem, we want it to be light. We want you to, at the end, share a solution. Remember that this is all about trying to find a way to offer some benefit to a difficult situation. The difficult situation is a problem. We want, at the end, to say, okay, this is a solution. We are providing a tutorial a fun way of looking at something serious, but that offers some hope. That's what a great video presentation will include. Hope, positivity, some sort of solution to the problem. A great presentation, of course, is going to have a good balance between talk, visuals, and maybe audio. If you have some audio in the background, it's going to have a good combination of those of those things. A great presentation also is going to have a good use of nonverbal communication. Now, what does that mean? Nonverbal communication basically means everything that we see, that we experience, that is not linguistic, that's not verbal, that's not coming out of our mouths. So, facial expressions, hand gestures, maybe even body movements, depending on how you're creating the video. What does this mean? Well, this means that your video presentation should have your lovely faces in the video, right? If your video is like a cartoon and there are no faces, well, that might, be a, that might make a good video presentation, but it's not going to make a great video presentation. A great video presentation is going to have all of your lovely faces somehow, some way in the video. All right. These, I think, are a good, it's a guide, I think, that's going to help you in preparing for your video and what to include and what not to include. Now, I've included a some mention about licensing And I don't want to go into it today. Maybe I'll go into it tomorrow. Read over licensing for right now. If you are going to create a public video, we have to be careful about any music, any photos, any images, any works of any kind that comes from an outside source. We need to be careful because... We need to have legal rights to include it in our public video. I'll talk more about this later. 
But do take a look at this because one of the first decisions you're going to need to make with your team members is do, I, do we want to include a public video or an unlisted video? Unlisted, again, means that no one can see the video unless they have the link, unless they provide the link. All right, so you can see this list. Please refer to this list up here under Tasks in Microsoft Teams. It's going to be up here, you know, for this week and next week, right? So you can go to this space and take another look at it. But use this as a guide. Now, when I go into our register, Performance Tasks, Unit 1, Performance task. We look at our spreadsheet. I need to ask you guys a few questions. We need to make some decisions. As I mentioned, I really want you guys to have three to four members in your team. Some of you have completed parts of this spreadsheet. That's great. Some of you are still working in your respective spaces. But here's what I need to ask. I know we have a situation. First of all, I understand uh, a few. Actually, I know of one student, Noemi. I think she has told me that she is no longer going to continue with the class. Um, there was one student, Luis Gerardo, that hasn't been with us for a while. So I'm also I'm assuming he is not participating. If anyone knows anything differently, please let me know. I also heard perhaps that Fatima Guadalupe also is not with us anymore, but I, I'm not sure about this. So I, I want to ask everyone what if you guys know anything, if anyone is not participating uh, that maybe have, has dropped the class that I'm not aware of, uh, so that we can rearrange our team, our teams, right? Because again, I really want to have three to four team members in each of our teams. And I know um, I talked with uh, Jackie and I think uh, Susana that we only they only have two members in their team. If if I understand uh, you correctly, if I'm correct there, so I, yeah. I'm going to ask. If anyone would be kind enough, especially those, the view who are in that have four members in your team, if anyone would be kind enough to join team three to have three members in their team instead of two. And, me. And who's me? <laughs> Fernando. Fernando. All right. Fernando gets big time karma points today. Good for you. Thank you very much, Fernando. Okay. So we're going to add Fernando to team three. And I want to ask if there's anyone else in this situation, any other team that has less than three members. This morning I went in and added a few names just to get an idea of who's in which team. Please double check. Are there any mistakes here? Is everything clear as far as how many members are in each team? Teacher, I want to say something. Yes. I talked uh, with Fatima yesterday. I sent her a text asking if she was uh, like continue with the career and she say she's not so I think she's out already okay uh, this is Monse right yes and which team are you in Monse oh no she's not in my team I'm just saying oh. because uh, oh, okay you may want to know. and wh what was her name again please Fatima Okay, is that Fat Fatima Guadalupe? Because I think we have Fatima Romo, right? I think, yeah, it's Fatima Guadalupe, yeah. Okay. All right. So 
I'm assuming here, I'm not going to take into consideration Noemi, Fatima Guadalupe, and uh, Luis Gerardo, who hasn't been with us for a while now. Are there is there anyone else that I'm missing that either has not been coming or that has mentioned to you guys that they're not coming back? Anyone else? No, I think Luis Gerardo, he has never been with us. <laughs> yeah, I, I had him down in my attendance list like the first two days, and then that was it. So, all right. So, are we okay then? Are we okay with the team members and the way that I have them now here in the spreadsheet? Are we okay with this, guys? Yes. If there are any issues, because I know it's difficult sometimes to work with others, but this is something that I think is really important, especially with working online. We really never get to, it's hard to connect with other people. It, maybe it's hard to connect with other people face to face, but it's really hard when we're always online. So I really want us to try and work together and, and help each other, of course. And not to be, you know, to be patient with each other, to be patient with yourself, to work together and realize that it's going to be a challenge to communicate online. But I want to f give you enough options here and ways of working that hopefully will make it easier. If anyone has problems or issues, either reach out to me as a group, as a team, like I can talk to the whole team. Or I can talk to you individually if there are some problems or challenges that you're facing working together. All right. The reason for the spreadsheet is for you to all each team to very systematically and clearly communicate who's doing what, what are you doing, right? Why are you doing it? And just to make sure that everyone is on the same page, that everyone understands what you're trying to create. All right, so I've added to the spreadsheet at the bottom in row 15, I put here public and private. So talk to your teammates. I really encourage each team to publish publicly, right? Because you're spending a lot of time and effort to create something good. So I, I hope that you have the confidence to share this with the world because you may enjoy coming back to this a month, a year, two years, four years later and seeing what you accomplished when you first joined the BA and how much you've improved when you compare how you are at that time later on versus your current level. All right, but you decide. It's up to you whether or not you want to publish publicly or privately. Um, one more thing I'd like to say, and I'll give you the rest of today to work and discuss in your teams. This unit, this performance task, this assignment is due next Friday. Not this Friday, but next Friday. Today is September 9th, 2020. You basically have 10 days to complete this task. I'm also going to give you time in class to complete the task. You still may need to meet outside of class, but I will give you some time in class on certain days to complete this task. But it's not due until next Friday. So... I would ask everybody before you're, you th when you think you're ready to record your video, I want to have one final discussion with the whole group. I want to talk with the whole group before you record your video. All right, just to have, just to ask final questions about how you're preparing, right, and who's doing what. Right, and why are you doing certain things? I want to ask a lot of questions about 
how you plan on producing, creating the video. All right, so I'm going to ask everyone please to check with me and we have a, a quick discussion before you record. Please don't record this week unless there's some weird situation where you just absolutely have to. I would like everyone to record next week. All right, next week I would like for you to record your video. Um, because it's going to take some time. I want you to think about and prepare and practice what you're going to do in your team meeting. Just as we've talked about before, please record all of your meetings as you go into your groups every single day, any day that you go in, and whether it's in class or outside of class, record everything. Remember, after you record, always download and upload to your files within your team, within your group, so you don't lose it. Okay, we're in week three, and keep all of your files, all of your evidence, any documents, keep everything in your space. Keep it organized and keep it there so that I can see it and your teammates can access it. All right, let's go ahead and break up into groups. Let's continue working in our your uh, teams. If you guys have questions, I'm going to stay online here. We'll come back at 9.35 to close the class. I may be jumping in and out of some of these groups just to take a look. I may even jump in if I feel the need to, but I, I want to stay out of your way for now so that you guys are working and deciding on what you want to do for your video. All right, so let's go ahead and break into the rooms. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, just jump right in with questions, preferably with the microphone because sometimes I miss your questions in the chat. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, begin with our uh, with our projects. So right now we're just going to talk about like the organization of the video and stuff. Yeah, so everybody's going to be talking about something differently. It depends on where what you need to talk about. Uh, use this spreadsheet as as a guide. Let me go back here. We'll go back to the spreadsheet that we just looked at, and you need you can what can you talk about? Well, you can talk about first of all, do you want the video to be private or public? And then you can decide on, okay, do you have a slogan yet? Do you want to think about a slogan now or do you want to do that later? Um, do you want, do you have a good problem, a specific problem that you want to talk about? Fine. Then start thinking about how you want, what do you want to say? How do you want to organize your, uh, your content, your, your information? Right? Are you going to have, how are you going to present? Are you going to present one person at a time or are you going to role play? You want to figure out maybe a, a way to role play through your, your ideas? Okay, so everybody's going to be kind of at a different place and it's going to depend on what you guys need to talk about as a team. Right? But think about all of these aspects, the purpose, Right, and you know, you could probably talk more specifically about uh, about the purpose again. Talk about the situation, making sure that it's, it's very specific. Okay. Okay, and do we have to record uh, like the call, or we can do it like by WhatsApp or something. I would ask that you do everything in Microsoft Teams. And record everything, your your meetings, if, if you're talking with each other, that you're recording in Microsoft Teams and you're saving the, the video within Microsoft Teams, right? So that we all, you and I, have access to all this information and we, we can use it as we need it if we have to go back or, or it just makes it, I think, easier uh, to keep everything in one place. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hello, guys. Hello, Ellie. 
Hello, Stefana. Yeah, you're missing uh, Juana also is in your group, right? Yeah. Okay. I just want to encourage you guys to record. Make sure that you record everything. And um, Stefana, make sure that you're asking a lot of questions and uh, and you guys are really helping each other with uh, communicating. All right? If you guys have any questions about working together um, and creating your video, uh, let me know. But I want to make sure that you guys are recording uh, everything. Anything that you talk about as a, as a team, please make sure that you have a recording so that you guys can go back to that recording uh, if you need to, right? If you, have, if you have questions about what you talked about, if you have questions about who's doing what, that you have a recording that you guys uh, can go back to. But I really want to encourage you guys to help each other uh, with your speaking. Um, and uh, really encourage each other to uh, to speak clearly and articulately, uh, not only in the presentation, but just with each other, okay? If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Do you have any doubts at this time? Um, yes, well, me. Yes. Um, in the part of Excel, where it says role, what, what means? Okay. Okay. All right, so think about, this is similar to a role play. The idea here is think about, you know, what your role is as a team or as an individual person in your presentation as it relates to the audience that you're speaking to. So, for example, let's say uh, maybe... If you're presenting a video for, let's say, students, all right, as a, just as an example, uh, new students coming into the university, maybe your role as a team is maybe an organizing committee, or you're a committee at a school for new students to help them adjust to uh, studying and working in this new environment. Okay, so your role would be like a committee member. Um, maybe it's, you know, it could be anything, right? But think of it kind of like a role play uh, situation. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, guys? I don't know. Well, I don't think so. Okay. All right, so I'll let you guys continue working. I just want to make sure that if you have any doubts uh, to let me know and make sure that everything is uh, recording in your, uh, your meetings. All right, we'll uh, talk to you a little bit later here, guys. Okay. All right, guys, we're getting close to ending the class for today. Uh, I want to remind everyone that looks like some people are still coming in, so maybe I'll wait just a second. I know it didn't give us a lot of time today to work in our teams, but tomorrow we're going to work in our teams the entire class. Okay, so tomorrow is going to be dedicated to working in our performance task, okay, all, all class. And I'm going to go through each group and try to talk with each group for about five minutes. I want to try to discuss briefly with each of you what you're thinking about for your video, where you are in the process. Remember to use your group space. Anytime you guys want to get together and discuss and work on your project, especially outside of class, use this same space. Use your group. Use your files area. Use the folders. Use all the different types of uh, files, depending on what it is you want to do, how you want to present, if you want to use a PowerPoint, if you want to do something else. Okay, you have 
this information available, you have these sources available. So make sure that you stay organized. Make sure that all of your discussions are recorded. Make sure all of your, record, your discussions that you have with your team members are recorded and saved in your files area. All of this is within your own group. I would continue working by, by weeks, right? So keep everything in the folder that corresponds with the week that you're in, just to keep it organized. And tomorrow, we'll continue working in our groups uh, for the, the entire class. All right, I want to give you uh, time tomorrow to continue working, and I want to have some time to discuss with each group briefly um, your progress, how you're progressing through your project. All right. Are there any questions, guys, at this point regarding your projects? I have a question. Yes. Well, in, in my team, we, we were talking about the fact, uh, well, um, and to talk about the fact that uh, the people they doesn't stay in home. That is one problem of the coronavirus, and and I we don't know if we can talk about that. Like all the problems that 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 fact <laughs> bring brings. Yes. All right. So state. Uh, could you state one more time, please? The the problem. Um, the fact that the people doesn't stay in home and doesn't believe in this and ah uh, okay and, yeah okay all right so yeah the problem is that people don't believe all right that that it exists all right yes and yes. have you thought about is there a particular group of people that that you find hold this belief or or not have you talked about that with your team members no it, it's because I think there there are so many people who doesn't believe it. Yeah. Uh, it does. It doesn't matter where are they from. I think, and you could say that uh, the religious people doesn't believe, but there are many the religious people who actually believe in this. So I okay. I don't know. All right. I my suggestion because I agree with you that. Yeah, a lot of people from a lot of different groups of people believe or don't believe that this is a problem. What I would talk with your teammates about is trying to choose, just choose a particular group of people and, and think about which group of people do you think does this create the biggest problem? Because maybe some groups are more problematic than others, those of that, that don't believe that this is a problem, right? Maybe you decide as a group, okay, we're only going to focus on this type, this group of people, because if they don't believe that COVID exists or is a problem, it's going to be a bigger problem than maybe another group of people, right, that think the same. Does that make sense? Yes. So, um, I think you have a good problem. <laughs> I mean, I think you have, uh, it's a very important problem to discuss. Just talk with your team members and you guys decide on which specific group of people to focus on. Remember that we want to try to tie this in some way with family and or friends. So the how can we tie it into family and friends is by drawing on our experiences that we've had with our family and our friends and we might even decide on the audience is either our family or our friends. Okay, so think of your, your family and friends both as sources of information based on your experiences and or your audience, the people to whom you're speaking in your videos. Okay, and this goes for everybody, of course, right? So think about the, how you're going to connect family and friends with the topic of your of your video yes 
Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Yeah. Any other questions, my friends? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. Yes. What is the meaning of role? A role is a um, a position that you take. It's like, have you heard of the term role play? Where you assume a role, you you pretend. You you say, okay, I'm going to be uh, the doctor, and you're going to be the patient, right? So my role is the doctor, your role is the patient, and we're going to role play how to diagnose an illness. Oh, so what are the things that one person on the team have to do? It, it could be that, but it could also be in when you create the video. Think about the role that you collectively as a team or individually, what role are you taking when you talk to your audience? Think about, oh, okay. right? So think very specifically about the audience. If, you're talk, if your audience are new students coming into the university, well, your role could be many. It could be uh, the head of the department. It could be some organizing committee to help orient students into a university. And it could be, you know, a lot of different things. Okay. So it's kind of pretending about thinking about a role saying, okay, I'm going to pretend that I am so-and-so, right? And we are going to talk to our audience and for a certain purpose or a certain reason. We can create if it doesn't exist. <laughs> Uh, what I get, maybe, uh, it depends if we're talking satire, if you're trying to be funny or silly, maybe, um, it's something that we can talk about. Um, and you, you talk with your team members and, uh, maybe tomorrow we can discuss it specifically and, uh, I can give you some suggestions. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right. You're welcome. All right, guys, listen, I want to go ahead and stop there. I want to give you time before your next class. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, we'll have all class to work on our projects, and I'm going to make an effort to talk with each group around five minutes, but I want to make sure I have time to talk with everybody a little bit about what they're thinking about. All right, uh, we'll stop there, guys. Uh, have a good day. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, keep at it with your, your studies online. And uh, we'll see everybody uh, tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you.